Welcome back. In Minnesota, one person is dead and four people are being treated for gunshot wounds following a shooting at a health clinic. At last check, the extent of those injuries is still not known. 67-year-old gunman was arrested on scene. The Buffalo, Minnesota police chief said today the suspect has had several conflicts with his department and health care clinics in the area in the past. And we now know the official cause of a helicopter crash that killed basketball icon Kobe Bryant. Today, the National Transportation Safety Board blamed the fatal crash on the pilot's poor decision to fly in the clouds. The pilot abandoned his training by climbing into the cloudy conditions. He then became disoriented and ultimately slammed into a hillside. I'm really saddened by this crash, and we use the term crash rather than accident. And I think it's important to understand the distinction. Uh, an accident is something that is unforeseen, unpredictable, if you will. Um, unfortunately, this wasn't. All nine people aboard the aircraft were killed in the crash. Officials say the crash probably would have been prevented had the pilot relied on instruments instead of what he could see. The United Arab Emirates has become the fifth country to reach Mars. The Hope reached the end of its seven-month, 300-million-mile journey this afternoon. The country's Minister of State for Advanced Science says it followed a tricky maneuver to place it into orbit. The probe is expected to collect data on Mars' atmosphere and will record seasonal and daily changes. Two more unmanned spacecrafts from the U.S. and China are following close behind, set to arrive in the next several days. All three missions were launched in July to take advantage of the close alignment of Earth and Mars.